Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we are shooting Hornady Subsonic, the 190 grain Sub X bullet out of the 300 blackout. And here is the box for that Hornady Subsonic 190 grain 300 blackout load. There is your velocity info, nice and slow, which is what you want. And here's your factory promo info for the Sub X bullet. It says designed to expand at velocities as low as 900 feet per second. And because we will be shooting this at 100 yards, the impact velocity very well could be down there at 900 feet per second. It'll be really interesting to see how it does. And here is the ammo, good looking stuff. Take a look, it's got a big old flat flex tip right there. Let's see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch, chambered in 300 blackout, of course. It's got a 16 inch barrel up top. I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my 20 round magazine cuffs. Pop that open, you've got a 20 round magazine close at hand. Really helps turn the Ruger American Ranch rifle into the perfect truck gun or camp gun. Coming around to the other side, I've got my wild boar design on there. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. It'll be linked in the description and the pinned comment. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we're down here at the blocks after shooting that Hornady Subsonic 190 grain Sub X bullet out of the 300 blackout. And luckily we captured all three bullets. So let's go ahead and take a look. They're all right here in the second block. Penetration wise, it looks like we got about 19 and a half and we'll give it 19 and a half for these two. And then about 21 and a half inches of penetration. We did get just a little bit of expansion, it looks like, at the head of the bullet, but not very much. Coming over to the first block, you can see the wound channel through the first block. Almost no um, expanded wound cavity. You got a little bit of something right here, but not much. So I think the bullet probably started expanding, you know, right about here, opens up, cuts through the block, cuts through the, the flesh, so to speak and then it just continues on so not much of a wound cavity these things are going pretty slow i could actually see them as i fired through the scope not a vapor trail or anything but i could see the actual bullets traveling down range and let's take a look at the velocities for that hornady subsonic 190 grain sub x bullet out of the 300 blackout our high was 981 our low was 963 and our average was 976. And here we are looking at those 190 grain sub X bullets out of the 300 blackout. I am pleasantly surprised by the performance of these bullets. I haven't had very good luck with the subsonic sub X line of ammunition. These I think are the best performing so far. So let's go ahead and get into it. Weight retention wise, we saw 190 189 and 190 grains respectively for an average we're going to round up of 190 grains so 100 percent weight retention these things held together perfectly and now on to expansion we saw 0 0.46 0 0.44 and 0.43 inches for an average of 0.44 inches expanded diameter that's 1.4 x expansion and considering how slow these bullets were going i'm actually kind of happy with that you can't really expect much more expansion than that with a bullet that's going well under a thousand feet per second on impact. So I'm pretty happy with it. And I'll go ahead and try and tip one up for you. My camera's probably going to unfocus so that you can see the cavity here. I'm going to try and move these ones out of the way and see if it'll focus. 
And now on to velocity. Our high velocity was 981. Our low was 963 for an average of 976 versus the factory build velocity of 1,050 feet per second. So we did come in 74 feet per second slow versus the build velocity. But, I mean, these are supposed to be subsonic anyway, and they definitely were. So not really a big deal to me. If we had seen closer to that factory build velocity, we may have seen just a little bit more expansion on these, but they expanded as, about as much as I think they were going to, so I'm pretty happy with it. And then on to penetration. We had very consistent penetration and pretty good too. We had 19 and a half, 19 and a half, and 21 and a half inches for an average of 20 inches of penetration. I think that's pretty good for what these are. All right, y'all, time for final thoughts on that Hornady Subsonic 190 grain sub X load out of the 300 blackout. And before we get into it, I want to mention I have tested quite a few of the Hornady Subsonic Sub X loads. I've done 4570, I believe 45 Bushmaster, or 450 Bushmaster, whatever you want to call it. That video is not live yet. Um, some other caliber, and then I've got a box of it for 3030. I haven't done that yet. But this 300 Blackout version has actually performed quite a bit better than other ones. We actually did get some expansion out of it. It was accurate enough where I could actually hit the blocks with it. Sometimes these sub-X loads aren't particularly accurate, especially at 100 yards. They've slowed down a lot by then. Anyways, I just wanted to mention that, so let's get into it. 100% weight retention, 1.4x expansion. And that doesn't sound like much expansion, but for a subsonic bullet to expand at all is pretty darn good. I've tested quite a few subsonic loads at this point. Some of them I didn't make videos out of because I wasn't able to recover any of the bullets because of zero expansion and they would zip totally through three entire gel blocks. But these did expand and that's really good. I was happy to see that. I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. Velocity wise, it was definitely subsonic. 976 feet per second on average. We got good penetration, 20 inches on average. If you're gonna hunt with a subsonic bullet, this performed okay. And then I'm gonna talk about kinetic energy. I'm gonna roll this into every video going forward. I haven't done it on some of my earlier videos. But with a 190 grain bullet and an average velocity of 976 feet per second, we're looking at 402 foot pounds of kinetic energy right there close to the muzzle. At 100 yards, it's going to be quite a bit less than that. That's only about as much energy as a really hot 9mm handgun load. This is not, you know, a punch from Mike Tyson here. It's just not. There's not much energy to this thing. Make that what you will. I just wanted to mention the kinetic energy on this stuff. Um, what would I use this for? Honestly, nothing. I really don't shoot with suppressors much. If I was going to be doing some nighttime hunting for wild hogs or something, and the ranges were close and I could get head shots, I think this would do the job. It's got the weight to it. It's got the penetration capacity. I think it would definitely crack the skull of a medium-sized hog, small hog, that's for sure. Bigger hog, I don't know. I've, I've seen some big hogs take some real punishment. So that's an option. If you were going to be doing some, you know, nighttime suppressed, predator hunting, varmint hunting. This would definitely do the job for that. What are your thoughts on it? What would you use it for? Have you used it? Have you been successful hunting with this load, this 190 grain sub X load out of the 300 blackout? Let me and everybody else know in the comments. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me, how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well, I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.